Well, most lipid mediators are actually derived from precursors of either 18, 20, or 22 carbons. In this particular case, I have here neuroprotectin D1 that is derived from docosa hexanoic acid 22 carbon six double bonds. The newly discovered mediators, which is quite a surprise in our laboratory, instead of having 22 carbons, will have either 32 or 34 carbons in length. And, and these are the first lipid mediators that we know that are that long. One, one of the features of these molecules is that they are very potent biologically from the point of view of the bioactivity. And one other feature is that they are cell-specific. The molecule presented here is with 34 carbon. This is a sculpture made of the molecule, 34 carbons. Here is the carboxyl group. And then there are hydroxyl groups, two hydroxyl, two stereospecific hydroxyl groups in, in this part of the molecule. Now, the physical chemical properties of this molecule make it very different than other messengers also. Because once that they are cleave, the precursor is cleave, and, and this molecule is formed, very likely we'll be able to interact in a very tightly bound form to certain sites. But another surprise is that once that they are made in the retinal cells, for example, they are rapidly released to the extracellular media. So we, we foresee here very likely autocrine and paracrine bioactivities of the molecule. In fact, we have defined several target proteins that are pro-survival proteins that actually make decisions in the cells when the cells are confronted with adversities such as oxidative stress. Uh, there are many other features, but the one that I would like to point out is where the precursors are. The precursors are, and this is a molecular model of a phosphatidyl coli molecular species, the precursors of this are in the C, in the SN1 position of the glycerol backbone of this phosphatidyl coli molecular species. So here you have the 34 molecule with six double bonds, which is the precursor of this elovanoid, and, and it's esterified in this SN1 position. I said that it's unique, the precursor localization, because this molecular species will contain in the SN2 position docosa hexanoic acid, which is the precursor of neuroprotecting D1. So here we have a phospholipid molecular species which is endowed with two precursors of two different families of lipid mediators. So, so having uh, studied the bioactivity of the molecule and the way that it moves uh, extracellularly and very likely between cells, one conclusion is that in this particular paper, uh, using also our genetic ablation or the receptor that captured docosa hexanoic acid in the cells, that these elovanoids are actually molecules that help integrate the cell survival pro-homeostatic pro bioactivities between retinal pigment epithelial cells and photoreceptor cells. And, and we suggested uh, that the presence of these molecules may be critical for the survival of the photoreceptor cells. And this is very important, for example, in age-related macular degeneration in, in, and in many other retinal degenerative diseases that involve mutations in protein components of the photoreceptor cells in, in our eyes.